Welcome back. Uh, let's develop a regression model uh, for this area that you can see on the screen in which we have uh, several types of data uh, in terms of our independent variables. We have an independent variable that's a month since the last service and then we have two independent variables that are categorical variables. And so we want to look at how to represent those and develop a regression model and then our response or our output our dependent variable is repair time and hours. Uh, so let's start at, uh, at looking at how to develop and, and turn one of these categorical variables into a form that can be represented in regression models. Well, what we do is that for uh, some number of, of k levels and for example, in this case, you have two levels. It can either be an electrical or a mechanical repair. Well, for the repair person, it can either be Dave or, or Bob. So for some K levels, we need K minus one, uh, what are called dummy variables. And so because we have two levels, we can use one dummy variable. And with that dummy variable, we set it equal to one uh, for one of the levels and zero for the other. Uh, so let's let's try that out. So let's take and code the type with the uh, as a dummy variable. And so I could go equals if and set this cell equal to and then electrical comma and then one if that cell does have electrical uh, within the cell contents and zero if not. So as I copy this down you can see that we have uh, one for electrical and then zero for mechanical and then one for electrical again and so we can just continue uh, just copying this down page. Okay, so that's the way that we convert a categorical variable that's in text uh, into a form that we can use in our analysis. Uh, for the uh, repair it would be a, a similar process. We just say equals if repair person equals uh, say Dave than one, otherwise zero. And so we can scan through and see that it looks like it worked correctly. Now we want to do several different kinds of analyses. We're going to, to look at uh, develop a model with just the, the months since and repair uh, the the person and and all of them. And so let's first do the, the month since and repair time. Now within Excel off of the data ribbon under the analysis box then there's an add-in called data analysis. And if you select that it has different analysis tools including regression. Say OK. And then uh, for that we need to enter uh, a Y range and an X range. So y is what we're trying to predict. X is our independent variable. So our y range in this case will be the repair time. X range in our first case will be months since. And notice I click labels. It's very useful to have uh, the top row being a label. So it will label the output for us. Uh, we then need to just choose a uh, a months model as, a, as an output on a different worksheet and then we can say OK and then you can see on this worksheet uh, this model has a adjusted R square of about 48 percent significance level uh, something less than 0.02 and so it is a statistically valid model uh, it may not be uh, extremely useful, uh, explaining 48% of, of the variability. Uh, 
using this model. Um, but we do have a statistically significant model. Let's look at a model in which we're just looking at uh, at the uh, at the person, the repairer, and repair time. So let's develop another model. Same Y range. In this case, though, my X range is going to be the repairer. Again, I have labels. Uh, I'll just make this the uh, repairer model for the output. Say OK, and now you can see we have uh, about 56% of the variability is explained with our model. We've adjusted R squared, 56%, and the significance level is uh, well below 0.01. So we have a statistically valid model and one that uh, does better than the last one in terms of explaining the variability. Let's look at, at one more. Let's look at all the variables here, all of our uh, dependent, or excuse me, independent variables, the, the type of repair, the repair person, and month since, as uh, developing the model to predict repair time. So the same Y range, X range now, will be all of this. Um, We'll just call it a, a full model. And notice that we have a adjusted R squared by 85%, so we've a um, much better model than what we started with. Uh, a very low uh, significance level. And that explains different ways of creating uh, regression models using uh, a categorical variable. Thanks. See you next time.